Welcome, everyone. Thank you so much for coming. We're going to get started. Please have your seats. Thank you so much for being here. I know others are still on their way, and we're looking forward to seeing everybody. But we are lucky enough to have our own Bristol Community College president here, Dr. Spraga, and we want to get started. He's only able to be here uh, till 5.30, so we want him to be able to welcome you all and say hello. And so we will begin right now. Please welcome our president, John Spraga, who has been such a great supporter and champion for our Upward Bound program all these years. He's been terrific and uh, very much interested in every single one of you and the journey that each one of you is on. So please thank him now. <laughs> thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much. <clears throat> Well, thank you, Sarah, and uh, good evening, everyone. Congratulations, we'll start out with uh, congratulations. You survived the summer and, uh, <laughs> and the program, and uh, people are headed for uh, uh, higher education. Uh, that's wonderful. I'm so glad that Sarah was telling me that uh, so many of you are moving ahead, and uh, which is really one of the um, purposes of Upward Bound, not the purpose, but certainly an uh, ancillary purpose, uh, to get you to continue on the academic pathways and move on to a brighter future, right? And that's where the road in academics will lead you. So uh, you all have different, I'm sure, different uh, programs of study and different academic interests, but the important thing is that you're coming together and moving up uh, I'm moving up the pathway uh, toward, uh, toward this brighter future that lies ahead of you. And so we're very proud of you. There's no one more proud than uh, uh, Dean Morrill, who uh, uh, just uh, sees you all as uh, part of her family and uh, uh, very proud. So please stay in touch with her as you move forward. Uh, and uh, we always want to know how you're doing. And of course, as, as many, I think some at least, are coming to BCC, and uh, we're very proud that you're going to be with us, and welcome to the family. Uh, but I did want to tell all of you, no matter where you go, that you always have a home here at uh, BCC. Uh, uh, our resources are available for you if you need a library or a computer lab or uh, Whatever it is, we're glad to, uh, to provide the help that we can provide to support you as you move down that pathway. Uh, so uh, I know that uh, Sarah has some uh, uh, certificates and awards that she'll be giving out later. I usually stay for those, but unfortunately I ask your forgiveness that I can't, uh, uh, I'm not able to do that tonight. I have another place uh, I have to be. Um, and also, um, I want to apologize for not being with you this summer. Uh, I look forward to a summer evening with you uh, and uh, in the air-conditioned library, right? <laughs> well, we just couldn't work the schedule out, and uh, you have busy schedules uh, in the summer, and uh, as do I. So I'm sorry to say that it just didn't work out. I, I always enjoy that visit uh, that I have every summer with the, with the uh, class. So again, I wish you well. It's a great night tonight. Uh, uh, please have fun. You enjoy uh, enjoy the evening. You've earned it. Uh, you enjoy. Uh, you've earned this uh, uh, relaxation time before it's back to business very soon, right? Yeah. So I wish you well and congratulations. Uh, uh, we're very proud of you at BCC. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Spraga. Well, welcome again to all of you, to parents and family, to friends and staff, faculty, tutor counselors, and especially all the students. It's great to see you. I feel that we were just together recently, but it's been a long time these past few days. A lot has happened. You've moved back home, and we've closed up the dormitory and the, said goodbye to all of the Wheaton College staff and people who help support us up there for another year. Um, you should know that we were told that it was the most beautiful uh, 
way in which the dorm was ever left. It was left in pristine condition. So congratulations to all of you and to the staff who oversaw that. Good job. <laughs> Those, uh, those cleaning uh, folks, the custodians, are very important people, and they were really happy. <laughs> so it's important. Thank you. Um, so I want to welcome you tonight to our award ceremony, which happens to be the 28th, 27th summer program and award ceremony that we've had in our Upper Bound program. We've been here a long time now, and we always come back to Bristol Community College, our home, to celebrate your achievements and your accomplishments over the course of the summer. It's such a rigorous summer experience. You've been through a lot and a lot of ups and downs, but really challenging classes, challenging activities, and homework, and exams and projects and papers and we want to really congratulate you for everything you did and for your persistence and your determination at getting through all of it so well with such good grace and good fellowship with one another and we want to thank very much the wonderful staff who made this all happen and made it possible so right now before we do anything else let's thank and we don't have all of our staff here but we have a lot of them um, we want to thank them all and have them stand up. If you're a tutor counselor or a teacher in Upper Bound or otherwise a staff member, please stand and let us acknowledge you briefly now. Thank you so much. They did a great job and they worked incredibly hard, long hours and we're very creative and inventive and ever uh, interested in your uh, performance and how you were doing. Always, always trying to help. Um, and I do want to say hello on behalf of Paul Pai, who is back in California now. So let's applaud for him in absentia. Thank you. And uh, of course, he, and he's very interested and turned in his grades and jumped on that plane. But he uh, and David Swanson, who is also not able to be here tonight, but was a great math teacher all summer. So let's hear it for David. Great. And Scott Wade, who was our English teacher this summer and did a wonderful job. And he is teaching tonight in Connecticut, so he wasn't able to be here tonight. Great. I believe all of our tutor counselors are, well, they, while they're not all here yet, they will be. Is that correct? Yes? OK, thank you. So we'll speak to them in person when they're here. Um, wonderful. I wanted to remind you of a few highlights of the summer while we're gathered here. Just to, in case you're starting, it's starting to fade. I want to make sure you remember things like the Illuminati conversations with Nathan. Do you remember those? Illuminati? The what? Not everyone had those conversations with Nathan. Ask him about it. Do you remember giving up your cell phones to Vinak? Yes. Vinak has some still, I believe. Do you remember all the photos with Nathan posing, especially when you went horseback riding for Nathan? And do you remember the Museum of Science trip? The Omni Show, Wild Africa, and the Planetarium? Do you remember moon viewing one night with Tina? Who did that with Tina? Excellent. Do you remember wheelbarrow races? <laughs> and the blob game with Travis? Oh, the egg carry. Who was part of the knitting group with Carol? Who learned to knit this summer? <laughs> And who did Gundam model kit building with Travis? Excellent. Raise your hand. I know there are more of you than that. OK. Great. Do you remember the heat? Do you remember the extreme heat? 
Do you remember all the fans and the water? Do you remember the international dinner? And all that great food. Uh, the, the games we played in the dimple together. Visiting Grafton, Massachusetts on the horseback riding trip. Who's the name of your horse? Apollo. We traveled to Newport and had a great presentation at the Toro Synagogue. We also visited the Marble House and walked the Cliff Walk. We visited the Roger Williams Park and Zoo. We had a Chinese buffet. Seven plates, I believe. Jonathan had seven plates of food. And Savonnerie, is she here? <laughs> They're both still recovering. <laughs> the academic competition, which was so rousing. You were great. Who won? Sh Shana's saying her house won. Shana, have your house stand up. Is that true? Have them all stand up. Stand up, Shane. <laughs> Shane is the house leader. Ah, good job. What's the name of your house, Shana? Aphrodite. Okay. All right. Um, Pokemon Go. Who played Pokemon Go this summer? Do you know BCC was a a poke stop or a, a site for Pokemon Go last week? Pretty awesome. Uh, the roommate game. Who won the roommate game? Yes. Ariana, Cassidy, and who? Ah, Angie. Okay, great. Watching the gray and watching Tarzan. That's right. Midnight pizza? Sweeping up the dorm at the end. Good job, good job. Music room with Paul and others. Math tutoring with Kenitra. Her math workshops? Yes. Aromatherapy. Wellness class with Silvana, yoga with Don, running around the track with me a couple times. Yay, thank you. Thank you. The pool, all the fun at the pool. Travis and Raymond's bird. Did you ever know about that bird? They found, they, they housed a little bird briefly. Weightlifting up on the boys' floor with Paul, Tam, and Jonathan. The water balloon fight as we left that last day. Walgreens trips with Rex and Andrew. I've been instructed to remind you about Raymond being a Snorlax. No one gets that reference. He was. So occasionally a little sleepy during the day. Programming computer science with Vinak. And many, many, many other things that we did together. These are just a few highlights. You have some of your own, I know. And we're hoping that you'll come up at the end of the program and share some of your personal memories and thoughts about the summer together we, during our open mic time. We also have a few student performances. I know she Cheyenne is planning to sing, and she heard the, the title of her song, did not make it into the program on time, but she will perform. And if there are other performers who would like to get involved, we're happy to have you during that student performance time or during the open mic time. Um, we do have a slideshow to show you in a little while, but before we do that, I'd like to hand out certificates of achievement to each student who participated and completed the Upward Bound 2016 summer program. So with that, I'd like to invite Rex and Vinak up to the podium. Thank you. So, ready? 
if you're not here, if the person's not here, I'll put it aside for later. But I'm hoping everybody's here in the room. Kiara Alameo. Kiara gets the MVP award for her work during the academic competition. She was a great resource for her team, helped them do well, and was particularly a great resource in Chinese, I understand. Okay. Justin Sims Frazier, is he here? Come on up. Justin, we missed you especially what was my because you, we didn't see as much of you on I, Friday. I, I hope that went well. Justin will receive the Animal Husbandry Award for his love of animals and his great work with animals and also his great, great affection for his horse during our horseback riding trip. <laughs> Abigail Sherwin, is she here? Uh, I think she had to go on a trip of some kind. Oh, thank you. I'll give it. Okay. Wonderful. Uh, Nathan Rodriguez. Come on up. This summer, we're going to recognize Nathan with the Renaissance Performer Award for his dancing and his singing and his very well-rounded strength in all academics, his talents and his potential. Thank you. Very good. Joshua Reed. Is he here? Not here. I'm sorry. There are a few people who are either still on their way or not able to be here. Natalie Ramos. <laughs> Natalie did a lot of things as a new student this summer, but she's really memorable for her great work as a DJ during a couple of the dances, especially the last dance. We want to recognize her for that contribution and participation. And it was great to see her taking over one of these important roles we have in the summer. Congratulations. Thank you. Good job. Kiara Oliver. Hi. Not here. So sorry. We have great. <laughs> Miss Shana Miranda. Shana is a bridge student this summer, and she'll be attending Bridgewater State University in the fall. We're very proud of her. She's been in the program for four summers. This was her fourth full summer program, which is really something to take note of, because we are especially proud of students who are in and contribute to the program over that kind of length of time. And we also want to say about Shana, that she's most improved of all the students who've stayed in the program that length of time. She's shown really dramatic growth and improvement, and we're very proud of her. Congratulations. You've done a fabulous job. She was great to begin with, but she got better and better every year. Kiana. Is Kiana here? Ah. Kiana Michelle is the most empathetic student. She gets an award for her compassion and kindness to others. I'm sure you will agree. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Excellent. Paul Mello. Not here. What's that? I can't. Okay. Uh, for her distinction in Chinese 2 class, Angelina Lopez. She did, we heard she did a very good job. I never took Chinese. You're kidding. 
<laughs> then we're um, in error, and I'll talk to Paul. He, he thinks that you were in his class, and he thinks you did a great job. <laughs> We will, um, <laughs> we will make sure to give you, there are so many things we can say about your performance. We will give you an alternative award, I apologize. Paul is our beloved Chinese teacher, but he may be experiencing <laughs> some slight confusion at the end of the summer. <laughs> I, if that happens again, please let us know. We'll talk with Paul. Uh, Ian Johnson. Ian was a new student this summer, and he, we were so happy to have Ian with us. And Ian's receiving our Good Citizenship Award for his wonderful spirit of volunteerism. Thank you. Ian was always volunteering and stepping up and helping others. Thank you, Ian. The best physics student award goes to Cheyenne Green. physics teachers right here. Miss Batera Dixon, I certainly hope this is correct, the best Chinese student overall. Okay, Dallas Cordero, come on up. <laughs> Dallas was also a new student this summer, and the growth in Dallas over the whole summer was really remarkable. We were really proud to see how far you came. So she's getting the Most Improved Rising Sophomore Award. Thank you. Cassidy, is Cassidy here? Come on up, Cassidy Bowden. Another new student this summer. She received, we had a course called Master Student, so she's receiving a Master Student Award for her enthusiasm and participation in that class. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Great. And the very best computer science student this summer, which is hard to do, and someone who hopes to include and incorporate some computer science in his college career and in his future, is one of our graduated seniors this year, Mr. Benjamin Barrows. Thank you. Ben is going to the University of Massachusetts at Amherst in the fall. Very proud of everything he's accomplished. And he likes to be called Zeus. Well, he is the leader of that house, right? He's done a great job in the program, too. Thank you. And for Amy Bang. We're going to give Amy uh, the Curious George Award. And 
This was a deliberation that was agreed on collaboratively by all your teachers and tutors. We met on Friday and Saturday in these long sessions. What should Amy be recognized for? And there's lots to say. But we think Curious George suits her because she always has such an inquiry mind and asks such good questions, right? Thank you. Very important trait. Congratulations. Thank you. Tahira Ashby. <laughs> receives the Positivity Award for her quick wit and her positive attitude all summer. Thank you. Yes! <laughs> She's surprised. <laughs> okay. All right, this is a great, I think this is a great title. See if you know who this is. The master of the middle and king of time management. Someone got it, I heard someone say. Master of the middle and king of time management. That is Holden Thomas, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Master of the middle, I think Andrew can explain. Andrew, do you want to give a little explanation? Thank you. He was Andrew's understudy in that role. Thank you very much. Great, it's a great title. Uh, and there's someone in our program who's very sympathetic and listens to others, gives others answers to questions, and is very thoughtful and mature in advising people. So we're calling this the Yoda Award, and we're gonna give it to Blakely Thomas. <laughs> Is Mr. Jonathan Tim here? Uh -huh. All right. There are some qualities that Jonathan possesses which exemplify things that we all like to think of as classic upward bound characteristics. So we're going to give Jonathan the Upward Bound Spirit Award for his, <laughs> his good character and his enthusiasm. Congratulations. <laughs> Upward Bound Spirit. <laughs> Excellent. And the very best female basketball player, otherwise known as our Point Guard Award, goes to Savonnery. <laughs> Not here, okay. So I won't give her the award for eating the most Chinese food, because Jonathan has that. <laughs> but apparently Savonnery comes close. Okay. Well, this award is called the Aphrodite Award for her grace and good nature. Catherine Arias. <laughs> The very best math student in the program this summer, and there were a lot of really good ones, so we really found this difficult, but that best math student is Ariana Webb. Quite a distinction with all these good mathematicians. Okay, uh, is Dorothy Barrows here? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Dorothy 
is distinguished because out of a great group of rising freshmen that we had this summer, she was the very best academically. So Dorothy, best rising freshman award. Oh, Vinak is taking credit. <laughs> we have um, a Rookie of the Year Award, someone who did a great job as a new student this summer, filled with enthusiasm and willingness to try lots of different things. Uh, rookie of the Year goes to Kelly Vincenti. Congratulations. Kelly, Good job, Kelly. Okay. And to Tiffany Vicente, who is one of our other graduated seniors who's a bridge student this summer, who's going on to the University of Connecticut in the fall to enter their pharmacy doctoral program, which is very impressive. We are naming this award to Tiffany for all of her outstanding academic accomplishments and her drive and her career goals after one of our most recent students who also went on to a pharmacy career and just a month ago received her doctorate in pharmacy. And that's Dr. Lillian Fong Award to Tiffany for her future work in pharmacy. Congratulations. Thank you. Lillian is a very special graduate of our program, so this is quite an honor for Tiffany to receive this award in her name. It takes a lot for anyone to have a, an award named after them, so it's a, a lot of pressure on you. <laughs> okay. We have several awards left. Have there been any other people arrive in the meantime? who might have missed their award. Giselle Vargas, come on up. She's not here, I feel like I saw her. I just felt her spirit somehow here, okay. We'll give that to her later. We'll mail these out to those who weren't able to be here. Is Tam here? He's, he's, he's supposed to be here, you said? He's sick. Okay, I'm sorry to hear that. There were a couple of people who fell ill recently. Um, I would like to call up Derek Belanti. There were some things that Derek did this summer that impressed many of the staff, his diligence, his determination, his commitment, his willingness to work really hard and to focus and to try again and to accomplish quite a lot. He did very well. We're giving him this year the Man of the Year Award for all year. those efforts. <laughs> We have a matching award, really, the Woman of the Year Award for someone else who had, uh, has demonstrated great determination and great steady, consistent effort throughout the program, and great attitude, and you probably know who it is, Barbara Ferrer. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Thank you all. Let's have a round of applause for all of you award winners. It's very hard to find one thing to say about each one of you when you've done so much and you've shared so much of yourselves with us in the summer. We see so many of your ups and downs, your successes and triumphs and sometimes your struggles 
and your difficulties too. And we're very proud of all of you for all of that. It doesn't have to all be successful for us to see it and be very proud and moved by what you've tried to do. Um, so we, with great humility, we select one thing to try to recognize you with out of all the many things that we're aware of. And sometimes that we even just imagine are true, like Angelina's <laughs> Chinese clothes, <laughs> which we'll, we will correct. <laughs> but we imagine you're capable of everything. And that's the approach that we try to take in Upper Bound, that everything is possible for you with enough effort and enough stick to itiveness. And so we're very, very proud of all of you who completed the program this summer. Congratulations. Okay, so I want to thank you all for that, your, your participation in the program awards segment. Um, we are going to move uh, the agenda just slightly um, and move the slideshow back a little bit. And in the meantime, I'm going to invite faculty and staff who would like to no pressure, to come on up and say a few words to the student body. Thank you very much. Come on up when you'd like. teacher for probably about 30 years or so and at the end of the school year I always say you know the summer's mine I'm not going to do anything I'm just going to sit back relax enjoy my house and read all the books I wanted to read all year long and never got a chance to read uh, but then Upward Bound came into my life and very very quickly summers became well when are we going to start when are we going to get to Wheaton how many weeks are left? And Paul Pye and I have been emailing a lot during the school year, and we count down the weeks until we're back at Wheaton and back with all of you guys. So you've turned my life around during the summer, and I hope you turn it around for many years to come. So thanks. Okay, this was, I think, my 14th summer. I'm not quite sure. <laughs> and it was a very good summer. And people worked very hard and accomplished a lot, I hope. And Barbara, I forgot something. I had something for you, but I've been very busy the last couple of days and I forgot it. So just pretend, catch. Okay? <laughs> you know what that means. And Amy, Herbie couldn't make it. I'm sorry. Okay, Herbie's my dog. Amy's in love with him. Um, but um, you know, and I hope to see most of you, except for the graduating seniors, back in September or early October, whenever we start, and we'll catch up on things then. Okay.
Hello, is this thing on? <laughs> How have you guys uh, been doing recently? Good. Everyone's good? Yeah. Well, I've been doing great too. <laughs> you guys are a lively crowd today. Um, so, you guys have been through a session of Brown this summer. Um, I hope this year has been an especially important year to you because I know that Upper Bound is something I hold really close to my heart because um, it's a program that let me find myself. I found my true self, I found who I am, I found what I really wanted in life. Um, and here I am working as a TC for the uh, summer program. I never thought I would be here. Think back to yourself when you were young. Um, tell yourself, are you proud of where I am today? Imagine there is a younger version of yourself and just tell them what kind of things you've done, what kind of accomplishments you've had. and um, You'd be surprised to see, if you can, providing time travel that actually exists, that they will look at you uh, really, really amazed. I know for a fact because when I was young, I didn't have a lot. I didn't have any friends. I didn't have a clear goal in mind for my future. And I'll reiterate this. Upper Bound has let me find all this. Um, gave me a future for me to look to. And I really hope that you guys look at Upper Bound the same way, even though you guys face hardships and go through many academic struggles, you'll find your way and there will be a lot of things you can do in the future. You guys came to Upper Bound for a reason. You took up the challenge to get to Upper Bound. You went through interviews to see if you were ready for it. And here you, you are now. You've went through Upper Bound, and you guys deserve an applaud. So let's clap for each other right now. <laughs> so many of you improved. I don't know where to start. Um, even for our returning students, I've seen your growth. I'm really proud of you guys. And the people who just joined Upper Bound, your growth during the program has really been exponential. You guys have grown really fast. I'm so proud of you guys. You have no idea. And I really do hope that you guys could look at yourself and say that I'm proud that I am a member of Upper Bound. And I hope that you guys see Upper Bound as a pathway to your future. How about a speech? We do this for freedom. Into the last good fight we will ever know. This is our Independence Day. <laughs> no, but um, <laughs> yes, and Independence Day. But Upper Bound's a good program. You know, in between the stress and the schedule, there's a lot of learning, compassion, um, education that. Uh, shines through the human traits, and they are very um, not only good traits to develop, but powerful tools that we use to build peace. And each program staff and us, we build a lot of peace. And thank you for always 
uh, both staff, students, with each other, just celebrating that and come together for very powerful reasons. And that's why I always love about UB. Yes. Congrats on finishing this Albert Bound summer program. Next year, for those who are not graduating from Derpy, it's just another year. <laughs> so it's, it's up to you to decide what you want to do. Uh, if you want to make the rest of the year very interesting, then do something fun, do something exciting. Uh, if academics are really important to you, hopefully it is, and that's why you're in this program, then take time to study and love what you learn. Uh, so I just want to say have a great summer, the rest of the summer. Uh, this a month, a lot can happen in a month. So take advantage of this opportunity. Maybe get all your summer work done in the next two weeks, then enjoy the rest of the summer. Uh, but always try to find ways to challenge yourself. That's my only advice, because those challenges that you face will only help you in the future. You can only get stronger if you don't give up. Okay, that's my only advice. So have the great summer. I'll see you in uh, September. This is my 12th summer here. I can't believe it. But every summer is special. It's gone by really quickly. Um, uh, some advice for the seniors. Make sure that you join as many clubs as possible. Uh, get a study buddy. <laughs> also, j make sure that you make the best out of college by spending as much time you can developing yourself. Focus on the small details. And it's OK to love more than one thing. If you like business and you like education, you can do both if you want to. And um, for the students who are still in the program, uh, work hard, enjoy your high school years, because even though you can take a college course any time in your life, you can never be a high school student in Upper Bounty again. So please stay in the program if I were you. Take advantage of it. and. Just have as much fun as possible, because once you get out in the real world, you're going to be working for the next 40 years. So spend at least four years in Upper Bound and enjoy it. And uh, make sure you thank Sarah, because without Sarah, Upper Bound would not be possible. OK? Thank you, guys. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. All right. So, I think uh, up here. I think an important reason, uh, important thing to realize is why you're here and why Upbound even exists. Upbound's a federally funded program, which means that we get grants to to do all this, which is like you know money from the state and the government. Now, there's a reason why we get those grants. You know, there's not grants for like basketball camps or you know, like singing camps, even though like we enjoy doing those things, there's grants for these things. 
because we as like a community have decided it's like it's a necessity for you to get an education. If you want to succeed, this is the easiest and most most beneficial path for success is to go through school. So although we you know we go on field trips and we do like activities and stuff, the reason why we focus so much on school is it's so important. You know, it's so important to ever your success. No matter what you want to do, having a four year degree or even a two year degree is going to help you. Some jobs just want a degree and it doesn't even matter what it is in, you know, just having the education in the background can help you. So that's why we come here, you know, that's why we have the program. And that's why I'm grateful to have gone through the program and then to come back and be able to teach and, uh, you know, tutor and all that. So it's really important you guys know why we're here and what the purpose of this is. It's fun, it's a, it's a, there's lots of memories and good times, but the education and the discipline we try to pass on to you is the foundation for the success in your future. So when you're here or looking back, just think, what can I do better? You know, how can I learn from this? What have I learned? And I promise you'll be better off for it. Thanks. Andrew Sotal. Excellent remarks uh, on everybody's behalf. Thank you so much for sharing your comments with the students. Uh, we've had a great staff this year and a great camaraderie, a great opportunity to work together very closely. I appreciate everybody. Is Raymond here or is he working to set up? Okay. Did he want to say anything at this point? Maybe later? He can certainly do that later. Uh, I wanted to call up Shana, for a moment. Yes, to Shana right now. Because we would like to present the House Cup to the winner of the academic competition, which is Aphrodite. Yes. Aphrodite. All the members of Aphrodite, come up and stand behind Shana. <laughs> We had uh, fewer competitions by house this year, and fewer house points awarded overall, but we certainly competed by house in the academic competition. So the winners are this wonderful group, Aphrodite, the members being Kelly and Barbara, Savonnery, Ariana, Dallas, Justin, Kiana, and Shayna. And Tam. And Tam, who's not present. Let's hear it for Aphrodite. <laughs> we need to get a good shot of that whole team together. Does anyone have a camera? Would you guys read it for me? Is Ray coming around? Oh, that is a little bit. You can stand it in front of the whole group. Okay. All right. So we'll have a we'll have a video of all of you. So hold it in uh, triumph and congratulations. Yes. Yes. engraved for the base but yeah, we we that. have uh, we stopped uh, a little while ago <laughs> but we have a record of all the winners in between we're gonna have them all engraved on the base thank you you can hang on to that but make sure I get it at the end of the night so we can do that thank you good job everybody okay. all right we're gonna get started if we can have your attention please and we would like uh, Cheyenne to come on up to the microphone. She's going to do a performance. I'm taking it slightly out of order here. And she has a song to share with us. It's Alicia Keys. So I hope you'll all give her your kind attention. This is Cheyenne Green, and she is class of 2017. 
Thank you. Okay, hello, okay. Hi, you guys. So, just wanna give you a little tiny speech really quick. First of all, love all of you guys. I say this a lot, but you guys are like my second family. So the song I'm about to sing, like it's technically a love song, but it can be interpreted as like a friendship song. So interpret it as a friendship song. <laughs> it's Not Even the King by Alicia Keys. Not Even the King. Not Even the King, yeah. Not Even the King? Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, really? Okay. Money. Some people so poor all that they've got is money. Oh, and diamonds. Some people waste a life counting their thousands. I don't care what they offering, how much gold they bring. They can't afford what we've got, not even the king. They can't afford what we've got. Not even the king. Oh, castles. Some people so lonely, what good is a castle? Surrounded by people, but ain't got a friend that's not on the payroll. Oh, I don't care what they bring. They can have everything. They can't afford what we've got. Not even the king, they can't afford what we've got. Not even the king. All the king's horses and all the king's men came charging to get what we got. They offer the crown and they offer the throne. I already got all that I want. All the king's horses and all the king's men, they came marching through. They offered the world just to have what we got, but I found the world in you. I found the world in you. So darling, listen. Your arms around me is worth more than a kingdom. Yeah, I believe that. The trust that we feel, no king's ever felt that. Yeah, this is the song we sing. We don't need anything. They can't afford it. This is priceless. They can't afford what we got. Not even the king. Beautiful. Wow, Cheyenne. Gorgeous voice. All right, we have a few little things for the bridge students if they would please come up. I'm walking to Beach Baldwin. So, Ben. And Shayna and Tiffany, you all did a great job this summer and completed the summer with honor. We're very proud of your work. A couple of you even took a, a college class for credit during the summer program, but you all finished upper bound classes as well. And you also served as role models this summer for the rest of the group. And you've been in the program multiple summers, a long time. Your commitment alone is worth a lot of respect. And we thank you for the example that you've set and for all that you've done to contribute to the program. You've been, each of you, very unique and special all these years. And this year, it was my privilege to work with you every week to do college counseling with you and to meet with you about your college choices, financial aid choices, and applications, 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 and final deliberations and decisions, and that's a big deal. It's a hard year, the senior year, and it's a very busy year, there's a lot to do. And they all sailed through it, working very hard, and they're going to some great places as a result. 
Let that be a lesson to our juniors and our sophomores on their way up, right? So I hope that each of them will share some wisdom with you about how to do that and how to do that well. Lily knows that experience too. <laughs> and it's a long road and you change a lot and you grow a lot. So congratulations to Tiffany, Shayna, and Ben. Let's hear it for them. We wish we were gonna see you every week like we have this coming year, but I know it might be a little bit longer before we see you again. Hopefully you'll come back on your breaks from college and tell everybody what it's like, how you like the school, how your program of study is going, and what you're experiencing, because we want to know, don't we? Yes, we do, we wanna know, we want them to come back and talk to us, tell us how it's going. Um, and to keep coming back and be on college panels with us for the students who are on their way up and who will be in your shoes very, very soon. Uh, you are always welcome at Upward Bound during the academic year or the summer. You have a permanent place in our program as an alum and a friend and a graduate of our Upward Bound program. And now we have a small token of our appreciation, Upper Bound Pen. It's a very historic and traditional thing that we give our graduates. So here is yours. And I'll start with Tiffany. Thank you. Do you want to say anything special to any of the Bridge students at this time? <laughs> That's great. Would you like to share any of your wisdom with the students? Newly acquired wisdom? Feel free to say a few words to the group if you'd like. I don't want to put you on the spot, but feel free. <laughs> Like, wait, just wisdom? Wisdom? Like, wisdom? Is that what you mean? Do you have anything? Yeah, any wisdom or any, any advice you'd like to share? Um, okay, so I have a few things I'd like to mention. Um, one of it is like take advantage of applying to multiple colleges because Upper Bound covers it. And um, if you ever have to send more than one SAT score to multiple colleges, because on College Board it doesn't. Um, it only provides for a certain number of colleges. You can always talk to Sarah or Rex, and they can help you um, reimburse you. So that way you can, so that way you can be able to apply to those colleges and send out all those SAT scores and ACT scores. But, yeah. Like one message to like send to you guys, it'd be like just don't wait till tomorrow. Mm -hmm. This isn't just a simple like oh put my work off until tomorrow. No no no. This is like about everything, even life. Like why do t why what you why do what you can do today tomorrow you can just do it right now. Facts. Right. If you want to run a 5K by end of the week, don't don't start tomorrow. Start today. Yeah. Just go jog. <laughs> right. Just don't wait. <laughs> What's in your body? This isn't the commentary section. Okay? <laughs> Stay over there. <laughs> Deuces. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> okay, that's fine. Thank you both very much, and thank you all of the Bridge students for all you've done. We're going to let you have a, have a seat. Thank you. Another round of applause for them. Excellent. Um, I would like uh, to have the NAC pen come up for a moment. Thank you. And while, before I, we move into the next activity, I want to mention one uh, other person who's done something really notable this summer, and uh, that's Nathan Buchanan. Stand up, Nathan. Everyone turn around. I have a lot to say about everybody, but I wanted to mention that Nathan served as the very first male TC for female students that we've ever had when we didn't otherwise have a co-ed group. So he took on a really unique challenge this summer and he did a great job, did he not? Yes, he did. <laughs> and if you were in Nathan's TC group, you too did something historic and unique this summer. So you too stand up if you're in Nathan's TC group. Very good. So that was something special. I just wanted to point that out. Among the many things that our TCs do that are special and important, that was one that was pretty rare. Thank you very much, all of you, again. Thanks, Nathan. And I'd like to have Andrew Willette stand up. Andrew took on a huge challenge this summer. He was both a tutor counselor and a teacher. And he did it without any warning. We didn't tell him this was gonna happen. We didn't really give him any extra time to do it. And he had to pull it all off and he did a great job with the calculus class as well as being a TC. So let's hear it for Andrew. If you were in Andrew's calculus class, stand up. And everybody, every one of you needs to thank Andrew for your calculus knowledge that you have now. Thank you all, and thank you, Andrew. That's great. I would also like to uh, point out Vanak Penn, who served as our dormitory supervisor this summer and had his hands were already full with all his responsibilities. And he took on the teaching of the computer science class without warning himself. And we, because we were short an instructor and he took that on and he did a great job and he did it without complaint and um, had to find a way to fit that into his planning and his daily schedule. So if you were a member of the computer science class, please stand up. Excellent. And let's all thank Vanak for doing that in addition to being a dorm supervisor this summer. Heroic job. Thank you very much. And it's very special. I'd like Travis Lee to stand up. Travis did some really notable things this summer with his Gundam model kit workshop which he's really devoted to and spent a lot of time preparing. And Travis did quite a lot of advising and counseling and preparation for his career as a psychologist in the future. And I really want, I think he distinguished himself in that way. So let's hear it for Travis. And Raymond Fong, is he still here? There he is. So we know that Raymond spends a lot of his time thinking about photography and 
taking pictures of everybody all summer long, and at the end of the summer does a nice presentation of the slideshow which you just witnessed. So especially I think that contribution is a very big deal and has been a big part of his work as a TC. So we want to thank Raymond for all of that. I don't believe that Kenitra's here. But she's in New Jersey. But she did a great job this summer too, don't you agree? All right, thank you. Um, Rex, it was Rex here, there's Rex. Rex teaches the SAT class, the elective class, as he does during the school year. And Rex is also uh, the academic coordinator slash assistant director of the Upper Bound program. So he's very busy with all manner of tasks and duties and his day doesn't really ever end either. He's a very busy person and has contributed a lot over the years um, of both intellectual work and planning and fun. I think he likes to laugh, maybe the most in the program. So let's all thank Rex for all that he does. We are missing tonight Paul Pye, our teacher. We are missing Scott Wade, our teacher. And we are missing David Swanson, our teacher tonight. But we have two phenomenal teachers with us sitting together. So I'm going to ask them both to rise. Both Carol and Tina. <laughs> It's very, it's very fitting, I think, to, to recognize them together because they're good friends and they are also good colleagues as scientists and science teachers who work really well together. Do you know that every time we move into that dorm in recent years, they have spent hours sorting out all the science equipment, documenting what we have, figuring out what we need, what they're going to use, and they're very, very resourceful at figuring out how they can reuse something or re retrofit something so it'll work for your lessons. Uh, they also spend hours planning their labs, planning their classes, thinking of things that would be fun for you and engaging and advance you academically. And they spend a great deal of time sorting all of that out at the end of the summer, too, and packing up all that equipment that there was. Now, English teachers aren't usually responsible for a lot of equipment in addition to what they do, but Tina and Carol have a lot of equipment to be responsible for for all those labs. So they're very busy all summer long, and I want you to look at the awesome job that they did this year and every year, and thank them both for all they do. They're wonderful, wonderful women and wonderful teachers. And because we're at Wheaton College, which used to be an all-women's college, a lot of those original buildings around the college green are named after female professors and scientists. And don't you think that we should have a Carol Richards residence hall and a Tina Morin residence hall? <laughs> I think that should come next. So thank you very much. Um, I just wanted to pause and recognize our wonderful staff. Um, I don't think I've forgotten anybody who... No. <laughs> but no. <laughs> thank you. It's my pleasure to work with all of you. Very much. And I'd like to, uh, Vinak and I want to hand out some certificates to all the martial arts students. Uh, courtesy of Dave Rodericks, who could not be here tonight, but who did a wonderful job as our instructor for martial arts all summer. So, I'll let you, do you want me? Or do you want to? Hey. Certificate of Participation. Amy Bain. Congratulations. 
Dorothy Barrows. Dallas Scordero. Cheyenne Green. Congrats. Ian Johnson. <laughs> Angelina Lopez. Yay! You walk hard this class, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Paul's not here. Kiana Michelle. Natalie Ramos. <laughs> Savonnery Sal. <laughs> Jonathan Tim. Kelly Vincente. Kelly. <laughs> right here. Thank you. Congratulations, Kelly. <laughs> Thank you all. We'll uh, get, make sure that everybody gets certificates mailed to them if they weren't here tonight. And uh, now I'd like to invite Anybody who would like to, including the Bridge students and everybody else, to come up to the mic and make any remarks that they'd like to or say anything in parting to one another. I do want to say that a couple of the stipends are going to be a We'll give you one more round of stipends by the end of August. Some of those will be adjusted because I understand some of the rising junior amounts were a little different. So we'll make that all right. And one person missed a stipend entirely, and that will be made right. We're working on that for next week. So hopefully you'll get those in the mail, be looking at your mail, and then look at the final, the final stipend for the end of August also. So that's going to happen. We probably will be having a final field trip sometime around the end of August as well. Yay! <laughs> so, so we'll be taking your suggestions and be looking at what's feasible. And I know not everyone will be available because some people are on trips or they've left for college already, but we'll do what we can to gather everyone briefly for a day trip at the end of August. And then we'll resume with regular Upper Bound academic meetings um, at the end of September. And so we'll be seeing you every week starting then. But for now, come on up and say goodbye to one another, sing a song, perform a speech from class, say a poem, whatever you would like to share with the group. Thank you. I don't really know how this thing works, but um, so this speech is not going to be like last year's speech because because last year's speech I learned a whole lot more than I did this year. But um, I know because it was like the first year, you know, getting involved with everyone. But um, so I don't really know how to explain how I'm feeling. All I know is that I haven't seen my family in four years, like in Puerto Rico, and I'm not hyped about seeing them. I'm more sad about not being at UB. So, so I don't know how that, I don't know if that's bad, but I'm, I'm like, I'm missing UB more than I'm wanting to see them, which is, I don't, I don't know. So I just appreciate 
how much you guys help me be me, I guess. So, yeah, have a good. Dabbing? <laughs> Two for kids? No. It's okay. He'll grow up and learn. Alright, so I'm prepared for this speech. But I just want to say, we've seen a lot of new faces this year, which is always good, even though some left, but new came, you know. But I just want to say, like this year, even though some people left during the middle of it, it's like you guys showed the commitment you guys had this year. So, you, you know, round of applause for you guys, you know? Uh, I don't really know what to say. I just want to say I'm uh, just glad to be here this, this year. It's my second year, so it, it gets funner every single time, even though, like, yeah, I don't know what else to say. Uh, uh, let's go to the aquarium this time, you know? Even though no one voted for me, it's okay. Aquarium this summer, you know. I'm not saying it. Don't even try to put me to say it again. Uh -uh. So, um, just want to say I'm, I love you guys. Like, honestly. I love you guys. I love your family. Because we're all a whole, guys. That's it. We're a whole. friends, family, Sarah, Rex, Vanak, Raymond, Nathan, Cheyenne. <laughs> I'm kidding. So, <laughs> so some of you might not know me, but my name is Chani, and I go to UMass Amherst, and I'm going towards my senior year, and I'll be seeing you there. Um, so, I want to give you guys a tip or many tips. I mean, you could stand up with me. <laughs> <clears throat> so number one, stay in Upper Bound. It's really helpful. I mean, Sarah's here to support you. You have all these resources, scholarships, and you know, people to support you through your troubled times. You know, you have that emotional support, that family building, you know, group dynamic, and so. <laughs> You can go now. <laughs> well, I definitely second everything that Chani says 100%. But uh, one of the things I have to honestly say is watching that slideshow and not being a part of it made my heart so heavy. I'm sure Lily feels the exact same way. But uh, you guys truly made last summer, I say this all the time, but literally the best summer of my life. I still can't thank you guys enough for that. Um, I think it was. Andrew who said last summer in our circle that it was great to have a job that didn't feel like work and adults never really have that opportunity and I can say that with the second family I've gained from all of you looking at all of you and even the new students who I didn't know when I came to the dance you all were dancing with me and it was great so thank you guys for being so welcoming and being such wonderful wonderful more than students but people so I'm really excited to see how far everyone goes and Thank you for always being so welcoming. So. Jenny? Oh, I don't know where I left off, but anyway, wait, before I was interrupted. <laughs> I need some water. Um. <laughs> I, I need some water. <laughs> So yeah, I'm a really silly person, as you can see. And um, so yeah, let me talk about myself. So <laughs> I was an alum of this program back 
way back. I'm just kidding. I graduated Durfee High in 2013, and then, um, so how many people here are freshmen? No, like freshmen in high school. So high school, you want to make the best out of it. It's going to go by, well, you'd think it'll go by really slowly, but in reality, it's kind of fast. Because like, I'm surprised I'm a senior in college. And like, seeing you guys and then being up here, it's like a really different feel. Because I was there in these seats, too, as a student. And then also for two summers as a tutor counselor. So yeah, make the best of your summers. I mean, of this remaining summer and also your school year too. And may you all be successful when you go choose your colleges and those going to college. <laughs> I don't know how to make this speech, you know, sentimental, but I'm gonna end it off here. I'm done. <laughs> I have one more thing to say. Don't forget to thank your staff because they put in way too much time and effort and love into this program because they really do love all of you guys. Having been former staff, I definitely know how much they care for you all. So even though they might be tough and give you TMT, you probably deserve it. And they love you. They really do. So I'm looking at all of them and they're awesome. So give them a round of applause more than us. We, we weren't here. <laughs> So um, most of you don't know me, all the new people. Okay, okay. So um, I did Upward Bound for like four years. I don't know, since I was a freshman. And I'm really sad that I couldn't go this year. Um, I was really sick, but whatever. Um, so I'm going to college, and if it wasn't for this, I wouldn't have, like, she's like my best friend. So I wouldn't have her. So honestly, just enjoy Upward Bound and have fun. Okay, go. Okay, yeah. Wow. All right, so all y'all know me, cause you know, I was in the summer program. I'm like Lily, but that's okay. Um, so, <laughs> I mean, I really missed her, cause she was supposed to be my roommate, but this was kind of like a break between us, cause we're gonna be rooming in college. Break. Which was like, and like Lily said, she's like one of my best friends, not like the best friend, but she's one of them. <laughs> I love, no, 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 no. no. She's gonna be my college roommate because like I just want to thank Upward Bound because like, you know I've been here for four years and even though I'm like really nervous right now being up here even though I know all of y'all um, I've like grown so much because of this and um, I just want to thank Sarah and Rex, Vinak and everyone else like literally everyone else um, because this program has been <laughs> Okay. I'm sorry, I don't like talking. I don't know why I did this, but yes, I just felt like I had to come up here and show my appreciation to all of you because I love you all and I'm really gonna miss you guys because Upper Bound has been a really big part of my high school experience and I would have never met any of you if I didn't do this, so thank you and yeah. <laughs> Come visit us when you go to Bridgewater on your tour. We'll be there, so come visit. Y'all aren't allowed in our room, though. Just yes, you are. No. Yes. I know there may be some other people planning to come up, and please don't let this stop you. I'd like you to come up later. But we have a, a presentation that we make almost every summer 
um, from, it's a donation that has been made from one of our former staff who prefers to remain anonymous. And that donation is of a couple of electronic devices, which are super nice. And we, as a staff, all determine together who might be most deserving of these items this particular summer for lots of different reasons, both because they may deserve it academically, because of their drive and work and persistence, and because we think they might, it might fill a need for them in their academic work that might be very welcome this summer. So we want to thank our donor very much, even though we're not identifying him tonight. Let's all thank him. And I do want to say, we all talked long and hard about who we thought of all the students should be selected this summer. And we have one man and one woman who we have all decided together should receive these. So uh, come on up, Shana and Derek. And they're not the same. What's going on? <laughs> Is this a little, little surprising? Yeah. We have our reasons. And I know all of your fellow students will support your receiving these items. Shana, a Galaxy, a Samsung Galaxy Tab to you. And to Derek, an iPad mini. You're very welcome. Congratulations. Thank you, Sarah. You're welcome. Use them in good health. Enjoy. Thank you. say that I am like so happy that Derek got this award because he tried so hard and everything that he does. And out of everyone I see like throughout the years, not even just in the summer program, he's always like doing things to the best of his ability and I looked up to him in that way and I love you guys so much and I'm just so happy you got it. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so I just wanted to say that I love all you guys so much, and you guys are like my second family. So, all right. Bye. Sorry, but I have to go because um, Puerto Rico's calling my name. Um, I love you guys. I'm a, you know, stay away from drugs and weird suspect kids, okay? Love you guys. <laughs> Derek, can I have you come up to stand? My heart. All right, guys. Derek has proven time through time again that. <laughs> he has been able to get through so many tough situations. Uh, damn. 
So Tarek, uh, Tarek, Derek's home uh, home life is pretty uh, unstable. Pretty messed up, yeah. Yeah, um, he's been able to balance academics with uh, home life for a very long time. It's been a very rough battle for him, but he's one of the most awesome people to persevere and endure these kind of things. It, uh, I've seen him work really hard in academics. He's been sitting down a lot, just studying Chinese, um, studying his um, work, taking a lot of time to do everything. Everything that he does, he wants to do it perfectly so he can prove to himself how good of a guy he really is. So there's no other person I would want than Derek to have this what you? An iPad mini. An iPad mini. <laughs> it's Christmas. <laughs> so I want you guys to applaud this man. We all really like Derek. We all love Derek, and he proves to be an example for everyone through his hard work and dedication. I give a speech now. Oh, my heart. Give me a sec. Um, yeah, see, like, that's one of the main reasons why I even, like, joined this thing is because, like I said, at home, I don't really get that because I had to learn by myself how to piece myself together, I guess, and then I found UB. And then that's what helped me become who I am. I mean, I don't do it for the awards and all that. I do this, like, for myself, for the people around me. I, I don't know. It's, it, oh, my God. But yeah, um, like I said, like, I love each and every single one of you guys with all my heart because this is what makes me, me. This is like a part of me for the rest of my life. I want to give it up for anything in the world or anything like that. And um, yeah, I love all you guys. I gotta, that's all I got to say. neglected to mention Scott Paquette, and I'd like everyone to turn around and see Scott is waving from the back. Scott, you may not know, works every single day in the office at BCC to support each and every one of you and all that you're doing. Right now, he's getting Ben Barris's textbook for him, <laughs> and he's working on something every time. He helps with our stipends. He helps with our requests for expenditures. He helps with our payroll and making sure everyone gets a paycheck. He's always working on Upper Bound and Talent Search during the year. So please, Scott, come on up and let everybody see you and thank you for everything that you do. Big part of our staff and our programs. 
even though you don't see him every day. So I really want to express my appreciation to him for all that he does. He always goes above and beyond. And you can tell he does because he's here tonight just to make sure everything goes smoothly. So thank you. I just, I want to thank you all for still being here tonight and for being part of our program and our summer. And I, I did want to bring Rex and Vinak up because they are my right hand men and they help me run this particular program. I couldn't do it without them. They're both very wonderful people. And this was a particularly tough year for, I think, for all of us in many ways, Acad during the academic year going right into the summer. And uh, their support and care was really important to me this year. And their work and continued work in Upper Bound means the world to me because there's nothing more important than Upper Bound. And we always want to see it thrive no matter what else is happening all around us. And so um, my, I have a lot of gratitude for both Rex and Vanak and Scott and all the rest of the staff and every single one of you students who were bright spots in a sometimes tough year. So thank you for being who you are and being so wonderful and filled with promise. And congratulations and best wishes and best of luck to each of you. And I can't wait to see you again very soon on our end of August trip. So thank you for, and goodbye for now.